Darren Sutton and welcome back to PerfectGame.tv. It was a couple of years ago we enjoyed the the power and the presence of Kumar Rocker as a young man making his way through high school and obviously an arm that was gifted. Perfect Game All-American enjoyed watching his journey that he eventually took to Vanderbilt. For him it was an explosive freshman year. There's a College World Series championship already on his resume. There was a no-hitter in a Super Regional which was an amazing thing to witness. Kumar spends time with us now. Kumar, home safe, and uh, we appreciate you joining us. I guess I'll, I'll, I'll ask you the same way I did in the pre-interview. Since we said goodbye to you in March and you said goodbye to college baseball, what have you filled your time doing? How have you stayed committed to your craft while maybe taking a bit of a different journey? Right. Um, just a simple thing, staying inside, keeping my body right, lifting, and then um, throwing as much as I can, and then taking some online classes at Vanderbilt still. So for you, take me back to when you first kind of started to find out like the rest of us did. Uh, from your mind's eye, what did it look like? And then even a month in, what did it look like? And when did you kind of find peace that there will be an end to this, but this is going to take some time? How did that evolve for you? Um, I mean, at first, I was very adamant of we had the chance that SEC was going to come back. So, of course, like we we're all staying up for that. And then when it finally got canceled, I took it for what it's worth. Um, changed my workout out a little bit, just deloaded. And then, I mean, really enjoyed the time with my family as much as I could just because, I mean, my dad was home, my mom was home, everyone was home. So, I mean, I took it for what it was worth. And so communication with Coach Corbin, your teammates, and Vanderbilt, what has that been like, especially early on, and what does it look like still today? Um, I, everyone's still very close. I mean, we have the group chat, of course, and then every once in a while, Coach Corbin will have a Zoom meeting with us. So it's, it's, he stays in touch for sure. Has it been a decision that, my goodness, you're so thrilled you made and, and you made it with guidance a little bit? You wanted to make your mom happy back then, right. Lou, but you've got to be, you know, beaming with the decision you've made. Walk me through kind of as you reflect not signing and, and, and going to Vanderbilt, kind of walk me through the joy that you find because of that. Um, I think I found a lot of joy through it, just meeting new people, being around a different environment, um, really expanding my mindset further than just baseball. I mean, from school to just like social settings, everything has just kind of like helped me become like more who I am and matured a lot quicker than I think. And really being able to spread it to other people around me is as much as I could. So becoming a well-rounded man, right? Has that general, helped? Yeah. Has, yeah. Has that helped you become a little bit more of a well-rounded baseball player? Look, if you sign, and there's nothing wrong with this. If you sign, the bank account gets bigger. You yeah. work on your craft. You've right. become a part of a great educational system. You're learning. You're with a coach who develops men. Has becoming a well-rounded man helped to become a better well-rounded baseball player? I mean, 100%. Um, handing, handling stuff off the field and then coming back to the field, things on the field seem a lot simpler because you know more outside the field. And this, this setting, this baseball field isn't everything. So you're not pressing yourself about it every day, et cetera. And it's just nice to have different outlets in life to like look back on it for sure. This is a busy summer, a unique summer for athletes. Next summer will be, too, as they get all these summers, they get ready for the draft. High school juniors going into senior year. What do you recall about your busy summer when you went through it, just like they're going through it? And the second part, Kumar, what advice would you have for these guys? Ooh, going into my draft year, um, don't make it more than it is. Keep it simple. I mean, you're there for a reason. You have eyes on you for a reason. Have fun with it. Um mostly like have fun with your friends and definitely enjoy being part of a high school baseball team in general because once you go to college you go to the minors I'm sure everything changes and the perfect game experience for you being a part of those events being uh, having a chance to go to Rady Children's Hospital is it something you recollect with fondness um 100% um that event was it was really big and it gave me a, a really big platform that I still use today and I think it's giving people right now kids my age that well how old I was just a platform that's giving baseball kind of different uh, look to a lot of different people. So you've earned the right to have a voice and you speak about platform. Our world over the last, since about June 1st, has looked different. And for a young man of Indian and African-American descent, um, I'm sure your perspectives have been unique in the conversations you've had in your home. I give you the floor because you've earned it with what you've accomplished uh, on how you've seen the world over the last, let's say, six weeks. Right. Um... I think it's going to take a lot. I mean, being in certain classes, I took a criminology class and 
listening to district attorneys, listening to judges, there's things that can get fixed and they are Caucasian, they are white, they know, they know the problem, et cetera. And it's just, it's kind of reaching out to different people and just kind of just spreading a little bit as possible. And if you decide to change, you decide to change. People are different, people have different perspectives of the world. It is what it is. But as African-American, as being a brown person, I'm doing as much as I can. And I know the people around me are too. Great answer. I appreciate you opening up. Let's talk about something that feels much lighter and <laughs> your evolution as a pitcher. Um, yeah. I watched you a ton for about two straight years. I've watched you from afar on television. What are some of the areas that you feel like you've changed the most, where you've developed the most, where you've grown the most? Um, the mental side of the game, for sure. Um, the physical, it comes with it. It comes with natural improvement. But the mental side of just really accepting yourself as a pitcher you are and just – kind of be mad at the game a little bit too. Like you gotta have a, you gotta have a little bit of a dog mentality and Vanderbilt, everyone in that locker room, all of them are, they're alpha males. I mean, you got, you have your Austin Barnes, you have your JJ Bladez, like all those dudes will push you. And I mean, seeing that and seeing how other people move, that was a big part of like who I became as a pitcher. What was that night, that 19 strikeout night like, that no hitter like that you were able to perform against Duke last year? I mean, we all work hard for those moments. Dude, you had that moment. When you settled in, wherever you laid your head down that night, what was that night like? Um, the night after, I mean, my adrenaline was still going. I mean, all the way until I remember it was 4.30 in the morning still. And I was just I was still thinking about it. But just having a chance to win and then doing it for the team as well and how it went, 19Ks and all that, that was, I mean, it's experience I look back on and I, I sometimes forget as the season continued because you had to leave it in the past. But – it was a good feat, and I enjoyed it a lot. Kumar, thanks for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. We can't wait till we see you back out on the field. Yes, sir. Good seeing you. Vanderbilt ace and PG All-American Kumar Rocker. Thanks for hanging out with us. You as well on PerfectGame.tv.